Peggy 12. Hi everyone, my name is Pete Fabiano, producer on Shinsekai Into the Depths. Um, and I wanted to actually have the sound team in here with me to discuss a little bit about the audio uh, in the game. But unfortunately, given the events um, and the situation with COVID-19, uh, it's hard to get everyone together. And I want to start by saying that I hope everyone out there is staying safe and healthy and all the best to you. Um, Without further ado, I'd like to go into discussing a little bit about the sound design for uh, Shinsekai Into the Depths. Um, as you'll notice, uh, last time we discussed a lot about the visuals and the overarching idea for um, how we were going to approach the game design as well as how the aesthetics of the game will look. And of course, complementing that is the audio itself. Um, and our audio team uh, took a really interesting approach into how they were going to go about and put um, uh, that extra effort and uh, ideas into the design of the game and the game's audio itself to make it feel synergistic and really make the world come alive. Um, audio is very important to this game, as with most games. Uh, and one of the things that they did was they actually uh, did a lot with Foley, and for those of you that don't know, Foley is basically taking uh, the sounds of everyday objects and whatnot and really uh, pumping them up to bring and enhance uh, the game's audio. That's a technique used in film and also used in games. Uh, and for this one, uh, we actually traveled out to certain uh, remote locations, snow, stuck microphones and recording devices into ponds, different little uh, looks in the ground to really kind of pump out that uh, sound of water and that extra feel. As you know, this game takes place uh, for the most part underwater. So it was really about bringing that to life. And one of the ways they went about doing that was actually taking certain speakers and submerging them within water. So what, what happened was with the dev team and the audio team they went out and recorded certain sounds, as I mentioned, and then re-recorded them underwater. So you had music as well, first recorded, and then taken to another level where it was played, submerged underwater, and then re-recorded using those speakers that could, they could listen underwater to actually give it that muffled sound and that extra feel of the character being underwater and then thusly having the player feel like they are experiencing uh, what it's like to be in this underwater world. You'll see a lot of that come to life. And a cool thing about uh, Shinsekai is that you're able to take uh, all the music in the game and play with it in the jukebox mode. Uh, with jukebox, you can actually apply or remove certain filters. Once you beat the game, you can unlock this mode um, and the jukebox will allow you to then say, play a song the way you like it, kind of adapting it a bit, hearing what it's like with the filter applied. So it has that kind of muffled underwater um, aesthetic or, or motif around it, or taking that away and, have, and hearing it um, without it. So there's some cool things you can do to play with it. Uh, you can be your own kind of sound designer and listen to the music in new ways. So it gives you a little extra incentive to get out there and beat the game. And we hope you take the time to actually immerse and submerge yourself uh, in this world and feel what it's like. I know that the sound team went through a lot of different techniques and efforts to actually make the world come alive. Um, so props to them and we hope you enjoy it. So thanks again for listening and we hope you enjoy the game. Thank you.